this way. Ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing, man? What ITC up? Podcast is back. Yeah. Looking yeah. good, feeling good. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? This is what episode? Mm-hmm. Was it, is it 99? Yeah, I, I think it's another one. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Add one to that one. A uh, hundred. Add two, subtract a hundred. one. Yeah. A hundred, man. A hundred of these oh, things, man. We in this thing, man. Got Damn. the homie homie in the building as well. hundred yeah. episode. I know we did say we was going to do a live, but you already know what it is. Just be thankful that we got a hundred one out there, or it wasn't gonna happen at all. But um, sure. very special episode, man. Yep. Uh, I'm not even gonna hold you. We can kind of get into the details of the journey it took to get to one hundred. Mm-hmm. But you know, we have to introduce the man, the myth, yep. <clears throat> legendary mm-hmm. status mm-hmm. goat, my boy, Mr. Chisel, Mister. Hold Mr. my nuggets. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hold them. We can't say that. We don't get the <laughs> yeah. we can't do that. But we back. We, we back. We back. I think it's my first one since uh, 82. I think 82, 70. I forget. It was a. It was, it was, up there. It was an 80s. Enough. Yeah, it was an 80s. Yeah, it was some, something 80s. around that area. Yeah. I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be here. Glad Diligent, to vigilant, you. meticulous, yeah. engagement, conscientious, analytical, methodical, individual, D. Chisel, the Don is back in the building. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. How does it feel to be in the great heat state of? Uh, it's hot. I can't wait. I'm glad we in the AC. It's hot outside. It's, <laughs> yeah. It is hot outside. I sweat. I, my, my sweat is sweat. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. what it sounds like out yes. here, man. Sounds about, uh, about Texas. That's, mm-hmm. that's yeah. about it. Humidity oh, yeah. is yeah. real. Yeah. We was just catching up on some of the uh, what's going on with the Olympics before we started. Mm-hmm. Um, hearing about Shakiri catching silver. Mm-hmm. Um, Noah, I think he just qualified. Yeah, yeah he just uh, qualified. He was second in this heat. I yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And you know having. Uh, what is it, Sharika? Uh, pull out mm-hmm. of the, the one hundred. Yeah, 100. she. Mm-hmm. I really would have wanted to know what would have happened if she was in that race because her and Shakari really been kind of going at it for mm-hmm. quite some time. So she probably would have been that push she needed to to get over the edge. But hey, at the for end sure. of the day, they out there, they doing their thing. Um, I will say the U.S. is showing up. Shout out to Simone Biles. Yep. Oh yeah, for you sure. Me like legendary status. Even though I know they got a little bit of drama going on with their situation. It's all good. H time, baby. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 already yeah. know what it is, and uh, nah, it's just they going out there representing, and shout out to everybody else that's doing their thing, cause man, it takes a lot of time and dedication to be able to put in the effort to do something on that level, on that stage, absolutely, with your country watching. Yep, <sighs> and uh, she she has seven gold medals, Simone Biles, mm. uh, history seven. maker, seven yeah. gold medals. I think she broke uh, six was the mm-hmm. the last one, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, she's out in in. I guess we can kind of get into the topic. I know a lot of people, uh, people have been talking about it lately. The that list of the uh, ranking the top 100 professional athletes since 2000. Oh, yeah. Do we have and, to? Uh, <laughs> yes, oh, we do. Because Simone, hey. she's you know, yeah. it makes sense why she's high up on the list, and she just solidified that even more. Yeah, with for her sure. winning her seventh yeah. gold number medal. Seven. Number uh, seven. I think seven. she. Uh, what rank was she? She's number seven. seven. She's seven. seven. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Seven uh, on seven. Like right, seven. I think right between um Roger Federer and Tiger Woods. Yeah. Let me see. I got the list put up right. Tiger so. Yep. Yeah. She's right. right. Yeah. She's number seven. I think. Her stock just went up even more. Oh yeah, she jumped Federer for sure. Yeah, so yeah, she um, jumped Federer. But uh, I guess we can get in. Who's number one? Number uh, one is Phelps. Uh, Phelps. Do we you agree? Know disagree? I think it's I, fair. I, I think it's fair. He's I not agree. even human. I don't even. Yeah, think. nah, bro. Yeah. Like, I don't even think he should be on the list. He's, he's an actual fish. fish. Yeah. yeah, he like zero. It's like when you ranking the best receivers all time. You just, all right, Jerry is here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, let's start for or Moss, <laughs> Owens. Yeah. Oh, you want to have Calvin? Yeah. 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 Over yeah. Here. But Jerry, the... he over there. He Ooh. has a record: twenty eight Olympic medals, yeah. yeah, twenty three time Olympic gold medalist, and I think he won eight gold medals in two thousand eight Olympics. Olympics. No one's ever done that. Eight gold medals. That means relax. Got in the pool. Chill, bro. He was winning. Yeah. I mean, when's the last time we could sit up up here and say boys was watching boys swim in the pool? Since Phelps. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's... To be honest with you, he's the only swimmer I really know. Yeah, I'm he like, is the only uh, swimmer. Lofty, but then something yeah. happened with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I know Katie uh, Ledecky yeah. on the women's side. She does. She the damn near. She the goat for yeah. the women's swimming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. But I think he, both of them might be. Fish. But he was one no, of those. For real. You know, he was one of those people that he, had people talking him. about it. Yeah, man. Yeah. Talking about just hey, we got to watch Michael Phelps see if he can break this record. And mm-hmm. I remember watching that. So it's just one of those things where him being at number one, I don't have a problem with. I mm-hmm. mean. The dude is doing things unheard of. Yeah. Well, did things unheard of. Right. Uh, number two is Serena, Serena. Williams. How y'all feel about Rightfully that? Rightfully so. Definitely. That's cool. She's Rightfully so. Okay. And I mean, tennis, that's 
the type of cardio you got to have. The, the People sleep on it, though. That's yeah, your precision. Is. That yeah. precision, being able to be out. Because there's no time limit. You keep going for hours. You know what I'm saying? Sets hey, on sets on yeah. sets. Legitimately. Legitimately. Yeah, you putting it around. Putting it in no, round. For real. Guys, Hitting the ball. Around. Come on, guys. Right. Swinging. Come on, guys. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. We're just better than Pineapple on the door for that one. <laughs> Not the pineapple. Uh, if you know. Put a watermelon. I guess you know. I don't know. <laughs> if you know, I guess you do. Know. Uh, number three. Oh, they know about the pun. <laughs> number Somebody, th- I know he's into that stuff. We should DM him. Right. Hey, yo. <laughs> Send the emoji. <laughs> Send the emoji. Not Kevin Hart <laughs> reference. That was to, I was going to say, I don't think they should have did a list numbering. I think they right. should have just had a collective of right. all times. Just mm-hmm. put, and I think what, what they, sh- like like you said, just have a bevy of different names and then y'all let the people rank. Yeah, we that's it. This the top 100. Because once you start putting a number next to it, it's, it's going to start getting yeah, a little That's weird. how I feel about the NFL top 100. Oh, Same yeah, all way. the time. It makes Every time sense. they do it. Yeah, it makes like, sense. What? I was going Because I was thinking when y'all was mentioning Jerry Rice, I forgot who it was, but one of the newer receivers, of course, newer age, was saying Jerry Rice wasn't Mm. Number one, or wasn't he had somebody else? I think it was Moss. Probably Moss. Yeah, Moss, Moss is fair. Saw Moss Jerry. is his, is his right. fair mm-hmm. reasoning. If right. that's what you saw, because you got to go. Because if you were like for the super super, I mean, their generations past at this <clears> one. Yeah. Don Hudson, when he was playing in the thirties, he retired with ninety nine touchdowns. The next person, by the time he retired, at thirty three. <laughs> so this dude tripled who the best yeah, guy yeah. was when he was playing. And yeah. Nobody mm-hmm. caught him until I think um Largent. In like the eighties, so he had like a fifty-year head start. He was a Jerry of their generation, but we never right. saw him. So, yeah, yeah. so it's almost like when that. you go era by era, mm-hmm. you got to be somebody like if in basketball, somebody like Wilt. His stock is so high because his records are all the way up here. Yeah. yeah. But if he didn't have everything there, but he was like the best of all time, but it wasn't by like that far, mm-hmm. people wouldn't rank him up there. Like when yeah. you talk about best shooting guards, best point guards, nobody mentioned it like Jerry West and that, mm-hmm. you know, stuff like that. They're not saying koozie, all the other stuff. So it always varies. It's uh, generation by ger- generation. So I think yeah. if you go by era, then it works. But I agree with you. They should have just had the names there. Let the people rank them where they want to go. Because the moment you put a ranking, you got to explain that. Well, Absolutely. That's, that's what they do it for. Because the Cause engagement. You, yeah, they know they're going to get the engagement. They yeah. put Lamar Jackson over Mahomes in the top 100. And I'm oh, like, oh, for this year? Yeah. yeah it makes no sense. Wow. I'm like, I didn't even know that. You can't do that. Yeah. Okay. And I like just Lamar Jackson. But who, who, I like Lamar too. You have who, to who count the Super playoffs Bowl? too. Okay, I'm Right, because that's where the problem is. Because it's not like it's the MVP <clears throat> voting to where it's like, oh, this is just regular season. It's all encompassing. Like, granted, Lamar won the MVP. But when the postseason came, he folded in the playoffs. Now, yeah. granted, mm-hmm. there were some drop balls, the, mm-hmm. um, the, the fumble right before going in from Flowers. But and still, you can't discount, you know, Mahomes shows up. You go and you win a championship. Unfortunately for Lamar, that ain't the reality of the situation. So yeah, you got to have, yeah. you know, Mahomes up there. Because they did it for Brady when he won the championship yeah. in 2020. He wasn't the best player in the NFL. So At all. We, we gotta I, I had Peyton Manning over Brady. Me too. Um, me, 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 me too for the longest. But once Brady just kept, kept winning those going, championships, because yeah. I'm a Peyton guy. Yeah, but same. Per- too. Personally oh, right now in the top five. Yeah, I'm a Peyton guy. Yeah, Spider Man, yeah, yeah, Peyton guy. But in top in the f- top five quarterbacks, well, I should say top quarterbacks. I think unfortunately now for Peyton, he done got bumped down because he was at number three for me. But Mahomes, he jumped him. Yeah, but just based off like his seven year run, it's it's yeah. crazy. Like it's unprecedented. I would never give this kind of credit to somebody who's that young. Yeah, but it's something you've never seen mm-hmm. before. Yeah. And you already right because like when you're Brady fresh. won those first three championships. Brady was working his way to becoming the guy. Yeah. Mahomes came in. He's the guy straight out the gate. Yeah, he, he was. Just, Boom. The moment, his his passing, the way right, he's throwing it. Mahomes bench. is not yeah. playing. First game he comes in, just that week 17 throwaway game. He plays all right. Very next year, he's starting off oh, 50 touchdowns. Yeah, why yeah, not? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, why great. not? Yeah, MVP straight I've been waiting game. on this. Like, what? Hold on, what's going on? Who are you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like Kurt Warner, but never got hurt. <laughs> like, side like, passes. Dude's on fire. So, number three on the list, Lionel Messi. Yep. Number four, LeBron James. Hmm. And number five is Tom Brady. I would have flipped that too. Yeah, I would have yeah. yeah, flipped those. I would have flipped Brady that. in front of LeBron. But yeah. that's, that's what, you know. Yeah. Man, so, you know. I would have flipped those. I'm not going to start. Yeah. yeah. You no. would put. No, what, Brady in front of LeBron? Oh, Why because I, I think oh, it's oh, just. Oh, oh, oh. I don't have a mic. I don't, he said, you don't need a mic. I just, yeah. just, just want to stare at you real quick. Hey. So you disagree? I do. See, that's. Over Brady, yeah, I would put Brady in front of LeBron. I'm definitely like in front of LeBron. Athletes, 
Mm-hmm. LeBron is an athlete. Look what he's doing now. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. No, nah, if, if you want to go. I, right. Right. Oh, okay. If we're just talking athlete, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Athlete, yeah. 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 No, because I'm, I'm looking at like the, yeah. the dominance and because and mm-hmm. with football, it's it's a bit more encompassing. Now, if it's just based off of just like. I thought it was all accolades all in, all like together. everything together, yeah. then I could agree with LeBron being in front. But I, I think just with the, diff- the degree of difficulty in football. Football, yeah. Because um, what. LeBron athletically has been able to pull off. I think that's much more difficult than what Brady's been able to do because mm-hmm. of what's required I from agree. both yeah. For know, sure. athletes. But collectively, as a team in football, I think it's much more difficult to reach that level of success yes, yeah, on a bro. consistent basis in the game of football versus what LeBron's been able to do in basketball. basketball. It's still mm-hmm. both sensational because we're yeah. talking about the top. They're in the top of the five tops. Yeah. of they're every ridiculous. athlete of yeah. the 21st century. century so you're yeah. really pulling that straw. Yeah. Yeah. First, yeah. I just had Brady in front. Yeah. So don't yeah. come for me in the comments. I know but, well, we got him in front. Come on. I'm a LeBron fan. Hey, look, your preference. I'm a LeBron fan, but I even moved. Brady. And then right. your preference. But let me uh, let me finish off the list. Yep. After you going that. to 100? No, I'm oh. just going oh. to yeah. I was like, so, what, what are we doing? Sir. I'm like, sir, calm down. Number six, Roger Federer. Yep. Number seven, obviously, Simone Biles. Mm-hmm. Number eight, Tiger Woods. Yep. Okay. Number nine, Usain Bolt. Mm-hmm. Usain Bolt, when he was running, he cool. was if, if there yeah. was nobody. Yeah, he had that three for three, you know. Uh, yeah, he 08, did go crazy. 12, and then, but yeah, I think they disqualified crazy. one. They took one away from mm-hmm. him. Yeah. But we saw what we saw. We <laughs> saw what we, we saw. saw. And, and number artist. ten, Kobe Bryant. Rest in peace. Rest mm-hmm. in peace. Yeah, that's yep. that's the Wait. team. I was just about oh to say, no, he's not on it. Oh, no, this is two thousand. Twenty first century. Yeah, twenty first century. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. But there was one problem. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was one problem. Wait a second. Wait a I think second. They would have moved somebody because you got to have like Floyd in that top ten. But oh yeah, twenty five. I had yeah, a problem Floyd with that. Floyd kind of lower on the list. Oh, I'd Off have the to, top I'd, ten. I'd yeah, you down. would have. I'd bump Kobe down. Yeah, I, I would jump Floyd from where he was at. Up to ten, I just slide everybody else down. I think mm-hmm. I'd probably do the same thing. Yeah, because yeah. they had some they had some rankings. My on main there interchangeables, my main interchangeables was the Tom Brady, LeBron. Um, I could keep them there, or I could switch them. It would be cool with me. I wouldn't trip. But that I, I think Floyd is sitting at ten. But you know, that's cool. one of them things. It's so hard for me. I wouldn't even know who because I'm fact, like just looking at all these individuals and seeing how they catapulted the the whatever they have so much impact. Was in. <laughs> right, it's like like right. Tiger Woods. You know, personally, I didn't care about uh, golf. Every time it came on, I either went to sleep or I changed the channel. Mm -hmm. Um, But when you was hearing Tiger Woods as a kid, it's like, oh, who's the dude? You know, black Mm -hmm. dude. You know, and I only followed because of my dad. So I like Mm -hmm. that's how I watched a lot of the wins and he pushed. He man, towards he was taking over. He put it on his back. Because, because, have you ever played golf? Golf is hard. I mean, <laughs> I, uh, top is top hard. golf, <laughs> play, yeah, top, man, top golf it, is difficult, my bro. Swing, somebody probably got a video somewhere. It's bad. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, I look like I got an ailment. Like yeah. it's, it's a bad situation, but <laughs> it's it's crazy. Like we for just him to have that level of consistency and dominance. It's yeah, a very bro. difficult sport. Got to give that. That's what I'm saying. That's goals. that's why for me it's personally hard. I know we mm-hmm. have our favorites and certain mm-hmm. things like that, but for it's really sure. hard to because when you think about just like tennis, like. Bro, when you realize like running back and forth, it's almost like doing suicides on yeah. a quarter court, mm-hmm. and you running back and forth constantly, and this person can be swinging this way. You got to be able to run mm-hmm. forward, back, and how crazy, yeah, yeah, yeah your goal. predictions. Like being a quarterback, people don't realize how the general of the the offense. Like you really gotta. You got to be Super thinking about important. five different things at one time, yeah. like oh, multiple things. I see it in uh, college football right now. You, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a, oh, the line God. coming at you. You waiting to, waiting to let your receiver complete yeah. Come on, man. the route. The but route. at the same time, yep. Yep. oh, you forgot I was coming? Yeah, too? right. Like, right. Wow. Wow. Like, bro, it's, it's, and then imagine that now you can get injured. Mm-hmm. In real hurt. life. Yeah. You got Ray Lewis over there now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And there's so many different things. So, you know, I just... At the end of the day, the put list them on the general. sheet. Yeah, just put them on the sheet, scatter them up. Hey, yeah. y'all are phenomenal people. They, they, they cold. They, they yeah, they cold. Because yeah. I was looking like they because they had Asia Wilson at ninety, mm. right already. But then they had Ed Reed and Charles Charles Woodson <laughs> at ninety nine and ninety. Aaron Rodgers was ninety one. How you got oh, Asia man. Wilson in front of Aaron Rodgers? Mm-hmm. His whole career. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. They had um, crazy. Kawhi Leonard was um at sixty seven. 15. 15. She was 15. She, she was 15. 15. So I had no problem with that. She just won, the, the she just won again? Of course she did. Oh, wow. She was, really? Of course she did. Yeah. That, she about to bump up. Damn. Uh, oh, just now? Lord. Yeah. So yeah. Behind. Wow, so we Bob behind Phelps, yeah. Oh, so we getting updates she, live right now. Yeah, yeah, we getting yeah, yeah. yeah. Move, moving up crazy. the ranks. <laughs> yeah, but I I do want to ask everybody like, how do y'all feel about you know I know how we feel, but just just speaking on it, people that are heavily uh, 
heavily criticize those in sports when they're not even oh like somebody able like to do Bayless the same kind of doing sports like like a like a yeah like a Skip Bayless or something like I've. I'll say I've always kind of felt indifferent sometimes about analysts because they can be super, super critical mm-hmm. uh, sometimes. And like you'll even see the difference between a player analyst and a, just a straight journalist who, For sure. you know, really is smart and can, you know, did the whole journalism background and have everything together. And it's like we don't want to take away from that. But the energy being on the field and a lot of times different things are going on, you know. So when you really talking about a certain topic or a subject or why this player didn't do this, you don't really know. Why? Because some of the behind the scenes things that may be going on. So I think my my take on analysts that haven't done it is it's it's kind of like coaching. Like mm-hmm. you have plenty of coaches that are successful at coaching that have not right. played at the highest level at all. Mm-hmm. Um, so I don't really take that away from them when they use their expert analyst side of uh, our takes on players and stuff. Mm-hmm. Now, there are takes where I'm like, all right, bro. Like we <laughs> we know damn well you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you weren't sure. in that locker room before, clearly. Exactly. Like for people who have played, you look at them like, nah, that's yeah. not the case. Mm-hmm. They probably not judging him right now off yeah. of that in the locker room. It's a brotherhood in there. So you go in there and half the time they're not even tripping on the stuff for sure. The yeah. media is yeah, tripping yeah. about all the people outside are tripping on. So there are cases where I I'm, I'm like, okay, you 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 clueless. But then there's cases where they have takes where people have takes and I'm like I mean, you kind of got to respect the take because it's a, it's a pretty well thought out take, yeah. whether you played or not. Like it's just a well thought out take, and you can't discredit him just because he he didn't play in this mm-hmm. case. But mm-hmm. I mean, like I said, it's it depends. Yeah, it on, on what the yeah. topic is really. Yeah, I would say it it comes down to consistency. I think if you're somebody who has a consistent criticism about a player, and mm-hmm. the player like you have objective facts as Mm -hmm. to why that's the case like if you're watching somebody like a a wide receiver yeah and you're like hey this guy's not as good as his numbers may show because despite the fact that he has this high level of production he's Mm -hmm. very sloppy Mm -hmm. like most of the yards or touchdowns and stuff it's on a technicality because somebody else may have messed up and he took advantage Ah, of that but he could be so much better than he actually is and if you can highlight where on film that just so happens to be the case for sure and you have verifiable evidence and that's great but if it's just solely your entire career is just Hate. off of just straight up opinions <laughs> yeah. and you've been wrong and you take no accountability for that i got problems mm-hmm. with that those yeah. be the worst yeah. i got sure. problems with that like you know, you know a few of them huh? <laughs> just saying crazy sure. stuff left and right and y- you wrong and you just move off well i guess i was wrong it's just like a All couch right, man next up like you can't just move on to the next you gotta acknowledge what's going on and yeah. gotta have some sort of verifiable evidence. I think those people saying that those stuff. people that, birthed the couch fans. That, I was about to say that balls down <laughs> all the way down to the couch fans because those are the ones that's just oh I don't like him because he's trash and uh he's just trash. And I'm like, what makes you feel this way? Right. And he, well, uh, uh he, he got a triple double, but it was on accident. And mm-hmm. uh, uh, I'm like, bro, like give me some and actual I, and facts. I actually hate when they do NBA players like that because I'm like, bro, the the actual like. The idea of you getting into the NBA, mm-hmm. like, dude, we talk about you, the percentage you, of that. Do you know there's Ronnie. under five thousand players that hey, have bro, played? Bro, like, in when the I NBA, seen when I heard that number, when I, was I told like, you, I think I told you, yeah, you did. You don't want there was under five thousand players in total that, that ever played ever played basketball. in the NBA, like from the beginning of basketball to now. You know how many people are in Texas alone? So the fact, <laughs> since we're talking about that, the the hypercriticism that. Bronny has been getting since you know obviously oh, him being drafted yeah, mm-hmm. and the fact that oh I got, to expound, I got a take on that uh, to expound on that point of mm-hmm. all these Twitter users and people that never played a lick of basketball if they did sure. the farthest they went is to their local fucking gym and that was it they got recognized at the gym or two K they, they the gym champion though. yeah the gym yeah. champion mm-hmm. or the church park league. champion church league twenty four hour fitness and, let's go. You know, it's one of those type of things where, like, yeah, he didn't have the best numbers, but you can see, you know, he's been improving, getting better numbers. But to your point, I didn't even know that was a, that statistic of only 5,000 players have ever made it to the NBA. Yes, we know, obviously, his father being LeBron helped facilitate that, but why wouldn't he? That's his son. Mm-hmm. Of course you're going to do that That's for your topic. child yeah. to set them up to make a name for themselves. So the criticism there, all right, you can – 
that's people who want to hate or have something, mm-hmm. some reason to hate. But to sit there and be like, oh, it's not his time. He's not ready. You can have that point. But at the same time, to be hating on this on this yeah. young man <clears throat> before he even get a chance to really prove himself. Like, people sit up there and make it seem as if if you ain't coming out like Jordan or a young Kobe or some of these legends, which, once again, those were rarities. Those Mind were just you, one of those right. things. And even then, they still had a starting point. Mm-hmm. Not everybody sure. just comes in shooting triple doubles. It takes time. Mm-hmm. And you sitting at home watching him, and he's out here, you know what I'm saying, potentially maybe one day being an NBA champion. You know what I'm saying? You never know. So There's plenty of players that have come in not good and yes. ended up being greats. Nicole yes. Yes. It's, it's, Draymond Green. it's pretty yes. normal. But one, is for sure. people always take away the fact that Bronny actually had a heart attack at mm-hmm. one point. So yeah. We're, we're, like, that just gets thrown out the window of all course. the time. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, the kid had a heart attack. He comes back and he goes back to the court. <laughs> the place where he had and the heart, heart attack, attack at. Yeah. <laughs> he could have quit. Back to the court. Had every he reason had, to not do it. No could have quit plenty of times. Mm-hmm. Then he he proceeds to you know work hard and get get himself at least you know uh, on the court again. Mm-hmm. That's one thing. I get it. You know you don't feel like he deserves it. There's other mm-hmm. people that deserve it. But just like in the in the career world, the job world, it's about who you know, not what you know. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so sure. you can't get mad at him because Brian LeBron James. Of all people in the world, is his dad. Man, what are we talking about? I'm son. gonna do the same for my son. I don't right. care. He right. could be the sorriest player on earth. You're gonna give him at that, that opportunity. Time. And what's interesting <laughs> about that is, had it been something that happened in the front office, you don't hear nobody talking. Because take a look at in, in the football realm. Jerry Jones did it for his family. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we go. like, why, where, where do we draw the line with yeah. nepotism? There we go. I echo the same thing. Like <laughs> as a parent. Your whole job is to make life easier for your child. And exactly. If you open up the door, that's what it is. It's not like LeBron is on some, hey, now you're an NBA all-star. No. no. I've got you to where my name rings loud enough to Work. where it's yes. like, hey, you'll get an opportunity. And nah, better yet, you. opportunity on my team. Yeah. Yeah. But it's on Bronny to go and make that happen. Because my exactly. only criticism for the situation was like, obviously, there are some players that probably didn't get the coverage, yeah. didn't get the notoriety, yeah. and yeah. unfortunately didn't get that opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. But now that Bronny's here, it's not like, yo, your job secured no. just simply because, yeah. well, Absolutely not. dad, because I can guarantee you this, I, be- I believe at maximum LeBron will play three years. And that's on a great you know situation yeah. if he yeah. wants to stick around for his other son to make it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But- you think LeBron retires and then the squad's like, ah, oh, you know, your pops was on the squad, so let's just keep you here for two <laughs> years. Absolutely not. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, if yeah. he not if he not producing, He's you out of here too. Start yeah. Yeah. So around. it's like, let's call it what it is. It's not like Thanasis, uh, um, Giannis's brother oh, yeah, is yeah. over awesome. here on some. Yeah. We know why he in the league. Yeah. Yeah. Like, call it what it is. Ain't nobody been searching his highlight tape. Yeah. Yeah. So Let's be real about the situation. For sure. Like the who? <laughs> right. The source. But he's not as big, so they're not right, going to talk right. about that. And, and that, you know what? That, that, uh, not to cut you off, no, but you that's to just what you were saying about um, where do we draw the line with Jerry Jones. You see that with these CEO companies, yep. like mm-hmm. CEOs and these Fortune 500 companies, George bro. Bush. They set up. They <laughs> like, grandfather in. They yeah, grandfather their kids That's a whole in. term. Yeah. Grandfather in. Can, like, it's an actual thing. Right. Yeah. Nepotism, like, bro, nepotism been around forever. You be meeting the kid who's going to be the future CEO one day, mm-hmm. and they just be having him in the office. He going to school and everything just because his job title and position is just waiting on him to get old enough. Yeah, simple as that. So, hey, simple as that. I don't I have would no problem it, with it, man. I, I, I can agree and disagree with if he has the potential and the skill, but hey, Only at the end of the day, tell. it doesn't matter. Time will tell, and at the end of the day, for sure. I know, just like yeah. Steve said, I'll be doing the same damn thing for my son. And yeah. truly, I think, in because if you really consider it, Bronny can develop his game yeah, in college, sure. but now you're playing against the best of the best, so that's the, probably the best Even location. The faster to way to develop, develop. yeah, sure. game, but you can develop much faster. I and think that you know it's it's only because, like you said, we all just expect. Well, you know, you the son of yeah. the arguable goat, you are supposed to be good. It's like look how uh, they look at Matt, uh, Michael yeah. Jordan's sons. If George, social media yeah. was around, mm-hmm. they would have probably been getting oh, clowned bro. forever. Yeah, so, and I think I think also I I. I relate in a sense to it because i like i just said earlier i mean my dad went to such and such and um a lot of times like growing up that was like what i was looked at in my head like that's the standard so i get that like i'm like he's he's just trying to do his own path at the end of the day he even said he's okay with not playing with his dad this is not something he's just like oh i'm just doing this and then people just judging this kid bashing him i'm like for what he just wants to hoop that's can, I, it. can I add to that? Can I? Can we all realize the fact that 
he's set for life. Yeah. Like, yeah. Already. So mm-hmm. yeah. If there's any other just spoiled kid, oh dad, yeah, you go, yeah, go finish, you know, retired. Mm-hmm. I'm cool. He actually is trying to make a name, name for himself. For exactly. himself. Right. And I think that's the most marvelous thing that people don't even talk about. Like he really could just be chilling. Mm-hmm. They yeah. are set. I mean, and just he don't got to work another day in his life. Right. Yeah. If you if you stream. ask most people, they would legit say if they had a parent like that, they wouldn't do anything. Like yeah. Yeah. why build something? Yeah, myself? exactly. They did all the work. I could just kick my feet up. Yeah. So it's very mm-hmm. honorable that he wants to go and blaze his trail. And Bingo. how awesome it would look to be on the court with your dad. That, yeah, that's like that's that's the Griffies. Like yeah. you see back yeah. to back home runs that they had. His yeah. son catch the ball, take it away from his yeah. dad. Like I I don't care how, how big of a, a hater. That the biggest LeBron hater can be, That's or maybe dope, just bro. somebody who don't want to see people happy. Yeah. The moment you see them on the court together, to get, wearing tough, the same bro. jersey, going out there, they may James, not start. James. They both may not start, but yeah. the moment that they both on the court together, that's man, that's tough, just one bro. of those. Ah, oh, man, like I wish, I wish I could experience that. Everybody, the Lakers, Lakers smart. The Lakers smart too. Though. Yeah. 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 They, they that's good marketing. Them. Man, when I tell you that's incredible market. I want that first game. Play with my son. That first game is going. My home game. They, and mm. it's going to obviously be televised because this is right. LeBron right. and his, his history. Son. Yeah. The first history. game when they play. Yeah, when they play. Because yeah. I think yeah. I'm yeah. he's going, going G League. Yeah, most most like, yeah, no, like most when they play yeah. together. Yeah, I think it's a two way contract, something like that. He got a guarantee, I believe. Yeah, yeah, it's like a four million yeah. guarantee. No, eight million. I think it's he did get a crazy guarantee. contract, but yeah. I mean, which was wild. It was like a 55th pick, get that kind of money, but hey. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying whenever both of their feet. Yep, yeah. touch the floor. <laughs> touch that damn floor. Yep. That's gonna Just be know that stadium is going to be packed. Yeah, yeah. Be they wild. already got Summer League. Like, during Summer League, Rockets smacking up the Lakers. You mm-hmm. got them still talking about Bronny while Reed right. Shepard yeah. is yeah. dogging Did him. Did you hey. see that hey. free throw he shot? They lost by 60. What is, what's going on? <laughs> right. <laughs> but I'm just saying, homie, you got the name, bro. the media going to be around. That's yeah. how it is. The bloodline, man. Yep. Yeah, the God bloodline. Yeah. Goddamn bloodline. The bloodline. One's in the air for the bronze family. Yeah, man. For real. So, no. It's, it's dope to see is just that's the time we live in, bro. And people will they'll nitpick and and try to ridicule something, knowing damn well if they were in that situation, they'd be doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, they'd be doing and the it, same thing. But but to ask uh, as well, because Chisel, um, I remember catching your content when uh, we was browsing, and uh, I think you brought uh, somebody that sent it to you his video the first time. Right, they was telling us we need to check him out the first time we seen Chisel's commentary. No, I saw it on Facebook. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. remember seeing it on Facebook so, back 2018. Mm-hmm. Like checking that out and just kind of seeing the twist that you bring to the commentary with the funny and everything else like that. Mm-hmm. Would you see yourself wanting to go to like a you know syndicated broadcast mm-hmm. network? And what would you? I guess it's like a two part. Would you go, or would you like to do something like yourself and like bring your own twist to it? Uh, well. First, I think definitely like do my own, bring my own twist, kind of like what I'm doing now. But initially, I always used to say I would never want to do any particular kind of like professional broadcast okay. on television, syndicated network. And because I felt like they would take away from what from I right, 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 deliver. Because right, sure. I'm very well with like the dictionary. So I'll find a different way to say something mm-hmm. without having to use profanity. Yeah. But I always felt like, <laughs> ah, you know, I'm, I probably won't have the same kind of range. Yeah, for sure. But then... Pat McAfee. That's what I was going to say. Uh-huh. Did yeah. what he did and broke yeah. in the way that he did. And he, I don't know what leverage he's created <laughs> yeah, he got uh, with ESPN to I where like he's been able to just do you. his stuff. Because he's like, been saying like, crazy yeah, yeah, photos or something. Because he's been <laughs> yeah. saying like, why, like with <laughs> Caitlin Clark, where he was like, hey, yeah. man. That bitch can that, play. I'm like, that bitch play. Yeah. <laughs> we on national. What's yeah. going on? But, yeah. and, so how did you get away with that? Of course, the people who don't get that kind of humor, they're going, oh, wow, well, you can't say, say that. Yeah, but yeah. if you know the context of how he was talking, he's not yeah. trying to demeanor, may not have used the right terminology, but <laughs> anybody who watched, hey, she could play basketball. Yeah. You know? And that, that was going to be my next part because right. you, you kind of reminded me more of, not him, but you the way you did your commentary mm-hmm. um, was not only hilarious, unique, but the the knowledge mm-hmm. behind yes. it as well. It's like I can joke but I also know right. what right. it is that I'm, I'm talking, talking about. about. Cause yeah. that's, that's kind of one of the things that I wanted to do because going back to <clears throat> why I even did it was mm-hmm. I loved Chris Berman growing up watching the oh, fastest yeah. three minutes yeah. Monday Night Football yeah, and sure. then there was mm-hmm. a time in which he was off the air because I guess he could have pseudo retired I guess before mm-hmm. coming back to ESPN Plus and doing everything and I was just scrolling I'm like oh I see 
some it was during the NBA finals in um twenty seventeen is when I first like tried out like a series of commentary. But I just okay. do sporadic commentary videos here and there. And I'm like, yeah. man, somebody should do some funny commentary on the NBA Finals. <laughs> yeah. I'm holding my brother's mic at the time, some USB mic. I'm like, wait, maybe I should do it. So right. then I just started from there and then just went. But now I've started exploring different sort of like commentary opportunities mm -hmm. and stuff. So I'll probably see if I could work my way towards maybe doing some like indie wrestling shows. Yeah, yeah. some commentary there. I That'd went out dope. to um Seattle to uh, the Street Beef Scrapyard. I was- uh, Yeah, we, we saw that video, that man. That was yeah, hilarious. I was out there with those boys and um, they they know a couple of connections to maybe that, because it's seven degrees of separation. You're only like a couple of people away from getting mm -hmm. to where it is that you want to go. So they know a guy who knows a guy who knows Rogan. And then Rogan's oh, direct wow. connection to Dana White. And one of the power slap slappers was out in Seattle, he, he recognized me. Ah. He's like, oh man, you know, I'd be watching this all the time. Like, you'd be showing it to the other slap. It's like, yeah, so I don't know. So I'm like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> so that's now funny. I'm like, all right. So and it was the same thing with like in the NFL. There's been some um, some players who've seen my videos. In the mm -hmm. NBA, some of the players I have seen know the NFL. Though, so for it's sure. like all it takes is just one person. To I get saw that clip to go with there. the you shadow know. around. I was like, yep. Hmm. Yeah, they mentioned on there. Whoever's run the intern on their YouTube, they know who I am. Yeah, it's, of course. It's, it's like, like WWE; they know exactly who y'all. Yeah, so it, it's you like you run. have a a internet database in your head because the way you pop out the years when something yeah, happens can, is just bro. amazing to me. Like, yeah, nineteen thirty eight. I'm like, um, how does he that, remember this? I can't remember the last Super Bowl, mm -hmm. you, like the date of the Super Bowl. But he'll yeah. pop out, be like, yeah, nineteen eighty eight, back when uh Steve Lewinsky was uh Steve two pounds Lewinsky. old. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, what? What is that? What? And they, and they, and they yeah. wore blue jerseys because they wanted to make sure they didn't match up. I'm like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. What I might, what I'm gonna start to try to <laughs> explore this upcoming season is like same way, like the primetime games with the commentators. They study, so they learn all these different stuff. I want to have it to where, although I'm always having a good time on stream and just yeah. kicking it with the people, but I also want to bring that element as well. Just bring out like the history of things because I like to look into that stuff as well. Yeah. When I first got cable, all I was watching was NFL Network and just taking in all the different history of football because I love it. So and like, that was not? the whole benefit back when we were younger, mm -hmm. how you would actually learn. Mm -hmm. on a lot of these networks now instead of just like the whole social media mm -hmm. kind of like a shade room for right. oh, this mess and I'm like bro it's a whole game that just was happening last night that was an incredible ending and y'all over here talking about uh, who tweeted what this morning right like, exactly you know they kind of took the learning aspect <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, to me out of it so that that would actually be pretty cool because people for sure. can learn yeah. from so the ultimately it's just like I, I just want to be able to keep like of course own my own IP do what it is that I'm <laughs> doing now but then down the line work my way towards possibly going that route but then yeah. doing it my own way because sure. had there been no McAfee I probably wouldn't identify how it was that yeah. I'd do it mm -hmm. but after watching like the blueprint of how he was able to pull it off then I think there's a lane. There's a lane for sure. For me. The yeah. lane is just waiting for somebody to crack it open. Pat McAfee right. was just more of a, you know, a cookie cutter version of being able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, so once that becomes a thing, because you got to think, uh, there's nothing new under the sun. So everything keeps revolving back to what mm -hmm. it is. Right now we're in just social uh, sensor climate. But Jeez. soon the, the rarity of somebody just speaking their mind is going to become popular again. Mm -hmm. And people are going to be like, oh, wait, you said that? Oh, you said it on public? Oh, bet. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, down with them too. You said it too. Right. Yeah, you know. Because like, Barkley about to retire. And yeah. I know once, because yeah. Charles Barkley probably one of the few, if yeah. not the he only speak guy mind. for like yeah. 20 years who would, I'm going to say what I, yeah. what I feel, yeah. whether you like, like it, it or, or not. not. Mm -hmm. And there's been times in which he said some stuff that people are like, yo, that's real. I'm rolling with it. There's yeah. been other times in which he said some stuff that's real. Like, oh, I don't really, I don't really support that. <laughs> but you got to. You got to appreciate sure. the fact that he's willing to go and say what's on his mind and, and be unapologetic about in it. In the offensive era. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because like, everybody's you know, offended. they tried to cancel him, he's like, I don't know what you, the internet not real. I ain't worried about this. Yeah. I don't know you. Like, I'm going to just uh, log off and go right back into what I'm doing. Twitter yep. user 796. I'm not worried about you. I'm living my life. With a meme as your profile picture. Right. Like, come on now. I got Sonic the Hedgehog as my pro. Take me seriously. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, if you don't go get the Chaos Emeralds, get your What's wrong with you? But yeah, so, but with that as well, I know you've been doing a lot of traveling. I want to say the last time me and you spoke before uh, you coming out here, you were telling me how, like, every weekend of the summer, yeah. at one point in time, you was 
out of town flying somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I'm talking about you moving around. Like we thought we moved around, but you move around. Man, mm-hmm. I'm 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 trying to just like get into these rooms, get in different sort of places, step out of my comfort zone. You're doing. I've always been like a, a more sheltered, <laughs> kind of just doing my own thing, yeah. focusing on me. But knowing, or oh, I should say, watching the people who are the most successful at their crap, they got a team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. And then in order to identify and find that team, you got to get outside. Like I could mm-hmm. try to hit people up left and right, but if I don't see how you work, I'll never know. How do you push yourself to get out your comfort zone? <sighs> oh boy. Uh, before I would just like, I'd talk to myself mm-hmm. to try to tell myself to do it. But then now I have to like set something on the calendar. Mm-hmm. So it's like, all right, if I'm in, cause I think we've all experienced it where it's like, okay, you get into a mood where it's like, yo, I want to do something. Yeah. But, what you want to do, you can't do it right now. It's in the future. Mm, exactly. So the only way that you can do that is, well, book that flight. Make sure you don't set it up to where it's refundable. So it's a non-negotiable. Yeah, you pay you for it. You want to lose your money you or you're do trying it. to go. And then get like the hotel, get your flight, get the ticket to whatever the event may be. And then when you get ready to go, of course, that anxiety, the angst can kick mm, in. Yeah. Like, oh, man, this about to be very uncomfortable. But you know why you're doing it because yeah. that's a muscle that got to get worked out. Mm-hmm. So it's nothing but benefits on the other side. So mm-hmm. it's like, I think it was um Will Smith when he was doing his, um his series of trying a bunch of things on like a bucket list. Yeah. It was like, you know, success on the other side of, you know, uh, fear. So mm-hmm. you got to, as Steve Harvey said, you got to jump. very true. With yep. no parachute. So yep. I just started getting into different rooms. Of course, it could cost a ton of money. <laughs> like it was yeah. just, de- depending on the situation, <laughs> all these damn flights, is, it's, it's adding up. Yeah, I'm no, sure, sure. <laughs> you know, but it's like, all right, get an opportunity to go to Seattle and go to the Street Beef Scrapyard. Go down to um, DreamCon, mm-hmm. meet a bunch of different people. And what's crazy about that was, I got into the room there. I had a regular weekend bad, so I'm amongst the people. Like mm-hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm taking photos. I got recognized like 200 plus times. I was taking all kinds of photos. I ran into a ton of people who knew y'all. So like, Yo, let me know when, when you gonna defend the in the clutch championship? Hey, pull up with that. You got that briefcase. I got an ass with you. So like, you know, it's just like all Love of that. It. But then I met a couple of guys um, who was working on the talent side, oh, and tough. one of the dudes is like, "Yo." How you just out here just with, with the people. all the regular people? Like, yeah. what you mean? First off, not we, regular. We not, they not regular. Yeah, we exactly. All the same. Yeah. I just got a channel they watch. This yeah, is, that's this, it. I'm not, that's I'm it. not special. We're like, no, no, no. You need to be in the back with everybody else. You know what? Yo, follow me. I'm like, what? what's going on over here? So <laughs> what, I go to the tap, and now I'm going? in the green Inducted. room. I done met Boy, RDC man. World. Oh, oh, shout out to them, man. All the, uh, I met Agent from uh, um, AMP, AMP yeah. and all oh, the other stuff. And what's crazy was, while I'm back there, a couple of the other talent, they knew who I was. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, wait a minute. People know. So it's 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 a know. small world, mm-hmm. but a big world. Yeah. yeah. You just gotta be in the right spot. So mm-hmm. for yeah. me, it's like you never know when that opportunity will come. You just mm-hmm. gotta be prepared. Mm-hmm. But it'll never happen if you don't step out of your comfort zone. So for me, it's like, hey, I'm going I'm travel, I'm gonna go any opportunity I can to get amongst people who know more than me, yeah, or people who's within <clears throat> our industry and stuff, then just get in those rooms and Try to go and network, shake some people's hands, start conversations, just yeah. give blind compliments. Well, oh, man, that's some great shoes. Start the convo off yeah. anyway. And then Why from there, you? that's like, my I favorite way. channel. I got something going on over here. Yo, what you do? Oh, where you got? And then you lean with value. Just like, oh, this is what you could do to make your stuff uh-huh. better. Naturally, reciprocity yeah. is what people going to lean with. So they're going to want to help you out. And now sure. you've built a relationship. And, and it's crazy you said that because I had to learn that um, over time because very in the beginning, you know, we had opportunities to opportunities to collab with different YouTubers and stuff like that, but it's just I don't feel like the intentions lined up, mm-hmm. and that kind of really put a little shield over my mind where I was like, ah, we just gonna do our thing over here because you never really know what other people's ulterior motive is mm-hmm. when you're trying to connect and collab. Some people mm-hmm. are really trying to take something from you, not give and push their narrative, and then mm-hmm. sometimes just like when Ross did a collab with a uh, someone. In the past, if you know, you know, <laughs> um, it was a something that you would seem deem is just like a genuine fun time, just going out collabing, turned it into a whole uh B video. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and then stuff like that. I was just like, yeah, I said people really, you just don't really know, but <laughs> yeah. but I'm also good on the energy too. You yeah, know what I'm saying. So sure. ever since we met you and just connected and stuff like that, it's always mm-hmm. been mutual. Uh, love what you've been doing and how you actually mention about being amongst the people. Mm-hmm. Because I always said, I uh, watch a person that can shake and have a conversation with the CEO and have the same shake and conversation with a janitor. Mm-hmm. If you if you shucking a job when the CEO come around and you overlooking someone that you feel yep. deemed For as sure. lower, mm-hmm. I, I can't rock. With I got that you. notch yeah. on you, like okay. But 
I've always been the type of person where I'm going to communicate with everybody the same. Mm -hmm. You know, I may be a fan of your work or something like that, but I'm not going to go crazy when I see you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, if the rock mm -hmm. walking here, you know, all right. That's but, you know, <laughs> it's a little different. You know, I'm going to still hold it down. Right, right. I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to hold it down. Stop. I'm going to hold it down. I just started yeah. eyebrowing for no <laughs> reason. I don't I don't know why I'm doing it. Yeah, <laughs> it's it's, it's, <laughs> like, man, it's, it's influence is crazy, man. Start, I mean, start shaking. For, for the longest. And that's the strongest thing, the influence now. It's like, and if we can speak to it as well, it's such a dangerous, very beneficial and positive but in the wrong hands and Dang, speaking 100%. of that 100%. leading people down speaking of that since you brought that up and i was thinking about talking about because uh, i believe chisel had made a video about it i don't know if you've been keeping up well i'm sure you haven't but maybe you've heard like recently these content creators been getting exposed yeah. for doing some wild oh yeah yeah stuff yeah, bro bad, and it's one of the, and it's 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 becoming like almost like a every other day, every other week, mm -hmm. a popular YouTuber or streamer is getting exposed for interacting with someone underage. And then there's yep. some content creators out here that are like, it's not that bad advocating it that and stuff like wild, that. And bro. like to your point, the influence we have, like y'all don't understand, you know, like we were talking about it yesterday, how YouTube is, you know, the new television and now these streamers are, the new celebrities and yeah. stuff like that. So kids look up to them. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, kids look up to us, people look up to us and we're very appreciative, but you also have to be careful with that type of influence because they thinking, oh man, I'm, I'm talking to my favorite YouTuber, favorite streamer. They not even realizing what this person, what type of time and they may be on. So mm -hmm. that person can take advantage and start asking unusual and excessive questions and of course, someone being young, being stargazed, like, oh man, this popular person is talking to me. Oh yeah, of course. And and all this other stuff. Like some of the stuff I have been seeing, obviously, you know, I'm not gonna really get into great detail about yeah, it, but it's <laughs> it's disgusting, bro. It's like yeah. you a grown ass man and or woman or whatever you identify as, you grown. Thank you. <laughs> you grown <laughs> and you interacting yeah. with someone. That's, you know, relatively young, but, you know, like, what are we doing? Like, this is what adults and other adults are for. You can interact with them. Why do you got to interact with one of your subscribers or someone that you know is a fan of you and you know they're going to be more willing to answer some wild questions or yeah, say some things or, sure. or want to meet up because they're fans of you. <clears throat> and then right. you try to disguise it as, oh, I'm just supporting uh, a subscriber. I'm supporting a fan when... You know what's going on. That's, that's those people like that need to be underneath. Yeah, this shit like, is right sick. Jail and you know, I feel like I might not say it all the way, but <laughs> we need we need better <sighs> better way to show way. justice, right? Because <laughs> if there if there are harsher punishments mm -hmm. for yeah. certain things, for sure, less, you will learn how to not. Like right. everybody burnt their hand on the iron before, right? Mm -hmm. Or some more. Uh, grazed mm -hmm. it a little bit yeah mm -hmm. you know not to get near that thing it's like a ptsd thing right. mm -hmm. when you see how it's some weird fetish. Like there's, there's a lot that you know they can just, <laughs> <laughs> just put it like yeah yeah do yeah. certain things so i think if they Chop if it off. set the precedent to where it's like hey this is what the <laughs> one finger right this is what the <laughs> punishment is going to be less people are going to be inclined to go that way. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. what really sucks as a creator, because I myself, I'm, I'm I'm amongst the people. Like I've yeah. gone to some of my subscribers' weddings. I've gone to some baby showers. I got invited mm -hmm. to graduations and no, stuff. That's and I, although I can attend some if you're now of age, but if you're somebody who's underage, like you just hit me up and you're like, hey, I'm graduating high school. Would you love to go and pull up? I can't even want to yeah, entertain this because yeah. somebody's going to be like, well, this creator, when they were talking to it, somebody yeah, was young. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you must be, now you're just trying to put that. You're no, just trying to put I'm, me I in the I can't ring. even, nope. it's not happening. Like I nope. used to reply to every single DM. Now can't nope. do that no more, nah. especially given how with AI, mm -hmm. all it takes is, oh, I got this person's voice. Let me just try to yeah. make it seem like they're Manipulate saying this. The you sending messages, all this other stuff. Ah, oh, man, hey, I appreciate your stuff. I'm 13. Um, I appreciate you for watching. Leave the conversation yeah. right yeah. there. That's all it. it takes is just somebody who's trying to take advantage of you. Now yeah. you're going to shift some stuff, make some yeah. messages. So it's like the people who are using their influence to try to take advantage of young 
people, they making it hard for everybody. Yeah, for sure. And for then sure. to make matters even worse is you're a terrible human being. Like, yeah, you are. Like now, yeah. there's a couple of creators who's starting to do like the predator. Yeah, yeah. Stuff oh, that's and, been yeah. wild. It's been <laughs> wild to see, but bro, ah, it's entertaining. They're hilarious. I, hold you, I think it might end up going down the wrong path, Rap. and it might for have sure. already started because it seems like it's now more about the entertainment, entertainment. factor yeah. of catching. Versus actually like yo, this person's stopping this creep. stuff Stop from them. happening because like, it was a, a recent one uh, um, where Akon was there. Yeah, yeah, and he, he was singing. He was singing "Locked Up." You locked up, and then he, dude think he about getting a concert, and he was like, "Nah, for real, you about to get locked up." Yeah. And then I was like, "Wait, what's what going the hell? on?" Like, yeah, like it's, don't add entertainment. Right. Like, yeah, it's that's hilarious they, to watch, <laughs> but then the thing is, like, yo, these are real. <laughs> People who's doing this. How much they pay? Up, how much they there. pay? Eight oh, No, nah, they paid yeah, that man going. some money. Yeah, what what they they money. Like, I, know, like I think it might be um uh, Vitaly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Vitaly oh, Vitaly has yeah, been doing that for a while. Yeah, so he's probably just you know, paying somebody a premium, get oh, some people out there. But good, you gotta, you can't. It can't be more about like the entertainment. That is crazy than the crime. Gotta be what it is. Yeah, because the thing is, people are they're growing up in this, man. I'm talking about. Um, little as Roblox, you know, mm -hmm. I don't even let my kids play Roblox because you have grown adults going on there, getting to know these kids, and hey, mm -hmm. well, what do you live? Who do you move? And mm -hmm. you know, you think we get the Amber Alerts? I was, you know, wondering why uh, our phones yeah, be yeah, going yeah. off. But bro, you literally have twelve and thirteen year olds leaving the house in the middle of the night mm -hmm. to go and you know yeah. hang and stuff like that. And I'm just like, first of all, where the parents at? Like, mm -hmm. you know, and. <clears throat> I'm a parent, so I already go back to like, what are you doing that you don't know your kid? Right. Like, I always go there first. Mm -hmm. I can't, you can't lie and say kids aren't smart. They're yeah. smarter than what we were at 13. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they learn, they have time. They have so more while information. We, while we doing our normal adult stuff, they're learning how to crack the code. That's all mm -hmm. we did. Yeah. When we yeah. were younger. Like, okay, I can't get on the internet at school. Bet we're gonna go into this site right yeah, here. Proxy. 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 And you know, get around. Uh, stuff. Yeah, like, don't know quickly. About that. So, but that's why class I, full of Halo. Yeah, yep. yeah, Halo, playing yep. Halo the whole time. Oh, but that's where you just have to like Good be times. involved with your kids and stuff like that mm -hmm. because you got a lot of creeps out here. Like you got people that's trying to oh, figure yeah, out they're information. Cut. Now they're becoming the popular. YouTubers. They're they're yeah, becoming streamers. the YouTubers yeah, and everything. And I always say like, yo, you may watch, you know, a creator. On a consistent basis, that don't mean you know them. You don't. Yeah, at all. You, know, you, you don't, don't know what they got going on. I've said time and time again, like, hey, listen, I'm a personable person. Yeah, yeah. you could watch me the videos, you watch me on live, all mm -hmm. this other stuff, but you don't really know you me like know that. Me. I'm yeah, not yeah. saying I'm some whole different than what I put out there. Yeah. Because what you see is what you get. That's true. But don't just assume, you know, <laughs> yeah. hey, Simple. that's what yeah. it is. Because I could be transparent, but some, that don't mean somebody else is. And that's, sure. that's where I was going with the whole collabing mm -hmm. with certain YouTubers because. It dawns on you when you meet people like, man, this person ain't even. When you start messaging and communicating with people, you're like, ah, yo, it's not even the same yeah. person that I thought. Mm -hmm. right. and, and we've always been. I remember having to talk when me, Ross, and Brandon, and uh, all the other fellas. I'm like, hey, we just talked about this the other day. Uh, when I, we were on the phone, uh, when I was telling you how I uh, had a few opportunities, I was um, when I was playing battle. Oh yeah, 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 competitive, and um, it was a team that wanted to recruit me, and it just the vibes wasn't right. And it was like, you could tell, like, at first, you know, you're gaming with them at first, everything's cool. And then you have a conversation with you like, wait, this ain't the same. Yeah, like, this is not, not the same vibes mm -hmm. we had. Like, they're all different from what. Mm -hmm. And it was like, well, we, we got plenty of opportunities. We can give you, blow up your blah, 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 blow up your ch channel, this and that. I'm like, no. Nah, don't, <laughs> don't, don't, don't be offering me too much. <laughs> right. right. You know, I go back like, to my. What, what, what you got on the back end going on over <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, for real. <laughs> Look, everything ain't free, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. if it sounds too good, that means it is, you know, because everybody has, it's like a give and take process, for right. sure. you know, mm -hmm. with this, so, but no, nah, and then just like you say, like, we are the people of what you see is what you get. Mm -hmm. We've always had that, you know, when I was telling them when we first started, like, hey, you know, let's be us, people gonna comment, people gonna have something to say, they gonna like you, they gonna dislike you, Um, mm -hmm. like, I always go to our most hated video, the 6 9 video we did. <laughs> Cause he was licking the ice cream real weird. He we was just like, "Hey, yo, come on, my guy." Shit, I took a chance with Ross. Actually, when I met they, Ross, oh y'all, some mm -hmm. homophobes, y'all do this. Yep. <laughs> like, how is that possible? <laughs> just because we said he licking the ice cream, funny. Like you can't joke no more. Like, like that, that just means yeah. I hate and but don't believe. Exactly. Hell no. Like, come on now. This the offensive era. Hell yeah. no. <laughs> but we kept with it. We like like we said that yeah, was like, weird. And, yeah. But I'm like, 
I said, I always wanted to go back and see all those people that were saying that now, like, because where is he now? Mm-hmm. Right. Like, mm-hmm. where's the love like you had for the person back then mm-hmm. now? Because mm-hmm. it ain't the same no more, you nope. know? But that's the thing of keeping a consistent mindset and just staying true to who you are. For sure. You know, that's why it always works. If I'm wrong, at least I'm wrong and I was feeling or thinking about that, thinking that in that moment. It mm-hmm. may not have been right, but that's where I was then and that's what I thought was right. And mm-hmm. when you meet me, it's not a person that's blowing you off or something like that. Or you just mm-hmm. like, hey, man, I thought you was... No, nah, man, get you out of my face. You know, at yeah. that time, you know, like, we are who we are, you mm-hmm. know, and that's a dope thing. And it's a good feeling for people, too, because right. I've met countless people, bro. I'll be out, and I want to ask you uh, who what's the weirdest thing you've seen with fans, but people... You can tell when somebody notice you mm-hmm. and they don't know how your energy gonna be, so they be like scared to approach. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> or yeah, they'll yeah, do the yeah, walk yeah. around and you like, I just seen they, you do like, like double three times. To see. <laughs> mm-hmm. So what what has been like some of the most weird like Man? Um I, I was <laughs> I was in um the Barclays Center for I believe this was either the Raw after SummerSlam or it was on SummerSlam back in like 2016, 2017, mm-hmm. around that time. I Slight think it was flicks. 2017. Slight so this flicks. is real Slight early. Flicks. This was mm-hmm. real early. And I'll never forget it was me and my homegirl. We were walking out and uh we're walking towards the exit because the show done. And I guess uh this particular guy, he worked there. So he started screaming like <laughs> at the top of his, oh my God, what's hey, going yo. on? Over here? So at first I'm looking like, who is, who's screaming? Like somebody else here? Right, and right. he running towards me. So I'm still, somebody behind <laughs> what's, going, what's going on? Like, so I'm, just like, freaking right, out. Just the eyes, watch all this. And this is like, it's so early in my Yeah, yeah. Creation. You're not even thinking stuff. nobody so gonna react like thinking, that. I'm like, what is going on? He's oh, screaming, I love your stuff. This is awesome, man. Can we get a photo? Everything. I'm like, all right. But he's like going Losing. wild. And the funniest thing about it was, but I actually have we we exchange numbers. I talk to him from time to time. Okay. And everything. I'm like, all right. Cause at the time I was giving my number. I can't do that no more. Yeah. But, yo. Yeah, but uh, we, we still he actually asked me. He's like, yo, you got any job openings or anything like that? I would love to work for you and stuff. Like, Coming next. You know, we'll see what down the line he's if like, I get some down, structure. Down. Like, all right, relax. But he was screaming at the top of his lungs so much so to where just a random guy went and he jumped on live. I'm done. On, on live and walked on like, yo, I'm right here with. He didn't That's even know what the name was. Like, yo, I'm, out here coming out the bar. I'm like, what? what? I'm right here with somebody famous. That's like, funny. It's crazy. Man. Like, my mom <laughs> <laughs> still got it on her phone. Hey, have That's you seen those the videos? The funniest interaction I've ever had in my life. Have you seen the videos where people act like they're famous and then they walk yeah, around? In person. Yeah, and they I'm, just have people running at them and people just take right. pictures. I always joke with my brother, like, yo, we all going to put on some suits, That's exactly go to the mall near my parents' house and just walk through and make it tell, like, yo, oh my God, yo, who's over there? Like we just give out that's a fake name funny. and we just go run over to go take some. That's photos. exactly what was that's happening hilarious. right there. Like, it was I'm here with. This nigga bumped on, yeah. jumped on, chisel the dunce, jumped on, jumped on line. Yo, I'm right here with. Yeah, and we out here. <laughs> didn't know what the name was. Just it's my on, man. Like, it's my man this right here, man. You know that's guy. funny, man. Hey, it, yo. it was easily that was the wildest one. But I have had some some um interactions that I kind of regret because I was probably in the middle of something and they yeah. they recognize me so I'm, but I'm trying to take yeah, care yeah, of what yeah, I got to yeah, take care of yeah. so I don't got time, <clears throat> time to man. go over um where I remember I was again I was in the Barclays uh for a Monday Stay night Raw. I know right it's like flexing again yeah, it was like last year I try to go to an event. if if WWE is near me I'm there yeah. but um I was I was in there and I was getting some food and uh, there was a guy who came over. He wanted to take a photo, but I'm like trying to read the menu, then going yeah, to my order yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm like, damn, I'm in the middle of something. Yeah. So when I went and I jumped out the line to go take the photo, I'm still like the focus isn't, I'm not giving like that energy. Yeah, you're trying to get back. Long. Yeah. So I'm like, damn, like I felt yeah. bad. Like after he took the photo, it was his birthday and everything uh, like that. But I ended up, uh, yeah. when I sent out, like I told people to send me like photos we ever took together mm-hmm. and everything. I sent him back an email because I saw and I recognized Oh, I'm in the Barclays, yo. That's you. Send them like a lengthy email back, like, yo, hey, let's. I remember that's when we tough. had our yeah, yeah, yeah. And everything. Like, our yo, I didn't want no hard feelings. I was just trying to order. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was like, yo, food was on the mind, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm sorry if you felt that. He was like, nah, it was amazing. I, I just appreciate you taking the moment. So he may not have been thinking that, but in my mind, that's knew. what my yeah, experience why. was. So that's the anytime, difference. Right, right. This so for why. me, it's like, damn, like sometimes there's some interactions that I kind of wish could have went, you know, better could, because you found me in a different, yeah, in a moment. you know, situation. Like, I, but I've been recognized all over it. Like, it's wild. I remember I was in Puerto Rico. Dude, stop the car. I got fans Damn. in Puerto Rico. It's crazy, bro. Like, stop it was the car? Wild. Yeah, he, he, was, he was driving out. I was walking down um, we walking down you the beach be with that. that was out there. Nah, for real. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, because it wasn't like traffic, but he was like coming out of, I guess, the parking lot inside of like the beach. Mm-hmm. And he stopped at like where he was supposed to go over. There was no cars behind him. He was like, 
lowered the window. Oh, no. Like, Yo, yeah. kid, I thought I was about to get, like, yeah. about to get in line. Like, it's he said, over. oh, it's, it's my time. Not right here. Yeah. Like, in Puerto bar, Rico, the wrong place there. Like, yeah. What did I, I do? I drink in my hand. Like, I'm, uh, this, I'm going, what did I do? Like, it's about to be over. Yeah. Look, I would have been like, hey, just give me one second. Like, bro. Cheers are running. Adonis. I'm like, yo, we in Puerto Rico. What you, you watching about? Oh, so, oh, that's what's up. What's going on? So it's stuff like that. The that's biggest cool. sigh of relief. Right. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, I'm glad you just recognized me like that. Cool. Right. Right. <laughs> that, that was hard for me early mm-hmm. on because people have to stare at you for a yeah, while. Yeah, for the longest. To make sure, like, either your mm-hmm. energy or they know you or the, if that's you. Mm-hmm. And so I always used to have a thing with people staring at me. But I realized early on, like, yeah, people just trying to figure out yeah, who yeah. I am. And I think my most uh, craziest interaction is, like, uh, when I'm with my kids. Mm-hmm. People be people don't know if mm. <laughs> they need to deal with me in that moment oh, or wait, yeah, like, yeah. while I'm with my kids. Mm-hmm. But my kids, they so used to it. They be, yeah. oh, they'll go to their mom. They'll be like, oh, mom just, I mean, dad's taking a picture with uh, one of his fans. <laughs> one of his say. fans. Yeah, they just walk <laughs> off. I'm like, y'all just. So nonchalant about it. Oh, yeah. dad's just famous. Bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind. Like My we was in Target famous. one time, and this dude just, this kid just, you know, he started freaking out. We was walking through the little clothes department, <laughs> and my kid was just looking at him, and uh, he was like, "Oh man, can I, can I take a picture? Can I take a picture?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, man, come on." I, you know, my Isaiah just moved out the way. He was yeah. like, <laughs> "Let me get out the like, way." Yeah, he was like, "Get out the way." He, he saw him freaking out. <laughs> And I said, man, hey, it's hey, it's nice to meet you. And you know, people try to figure out, especially when they see me with my kid. One dude at Costco, <laughs> he called up, man, I watch your shit all the time. Watch your shit all the time. And I'm looking at him like, hey, like yeah, he's like, my kid, bad, man. I know you with your kid. He aggressive but, yeah. as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, he was he was a big dude too. Yeah, I watch I think your he working like the time. warehouse. Like, I had to look at him because he was walking up fast, and he was like, bro, I watch your shit all the time. And you know, I had my son and my yeah. daughter. And I was like, all right, hey, you know, like, mm-hmm. oh my bad, my bad, my bad, hey, my bad, little, little your dad, you know, but but child <laughs> shit is <laughs> and he went cursing yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they had a, I met a wrestler like that. I went with it last week. I met bro, a wrestler. Went right I was back. With my boy, we having a conversation. <laughs> he just come and interrupt like, hey man, hey, hey what's going on over here? It just start with the whole combo. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, you know, I was talking to somebody over here. He don't but, care. <laughs> but I'm like, I appreciate you. I appreciate. Oh, you. we gonna get in the ring? Said I see you in a conversation, but I don't care. Oh, That's funny because I know, I know with, with with y'all. I don't know how often y'all travel, like leave the state, mm-hmm. get outside and stuff like that. What's probably like the furthest location you've been that you got recognized at? Um, well, when I was in Oregon last year, I got recognized. Ah, boy. Mm-hmm. Um, boy, Oregon. Um, huh. Yeah, I remember when I was out there. I, I didn't know they had so much drugs over there. I didn't know. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah it's, Talk about yeah. that. I bro. was in um downtown <laughs> um, Portland. By the Nike store in, in Portland. Portland. That's oh, yeah. where I was trying to get some Nikes. You're at the original. <laughs> I was not prepared for what I was yeah. getting ready to see. What Nisha is she over there? Oh, yeah. it's wild. Yeah, it was a fam. It was a family of four oh. or five that was mm-hmm. getting ready to walk into the Nike store. This dude laying. Wait, right. Where did you park? Um, no, I parked. Uh, like it, it was like two two blocks oh, away. No. It was like two blocks away. It was a bad decision. And you had yeah, to walk yeah. off. Yeah, no. and I, had, I just walked like two blocks. That's just too to much. Go into the yeah. Nike's, man, I just wanted to see what like what they had because it's like <laughs> me this too. Nike yeah, camera. yeah. And the family of three just jumped out the car. They walking in, and this dude is like maybe because they have the the opening doors is right here. They got yeah. like a window, window, yeah. and on the second window, just laying there, getting up off the floor, syringe hanging yeah, out, yeah. Of, out of his like, arm. Yeah. Yes, what? Yeah, that and, joint was crazy, bro, and it's we consistently landed. like that. We landed yeah. in Portland, get out the airport, we go straight to the mall. One of the I can't remember what mall it was. Went to the mall in Portland. Um, we're walking on like the second or third floor. I can't remember. It had like multiple floors. It was like a Galleria type vibe to it. Mm-hmm. And um, we're on a higher level. And the guy was walking by with a shoebox. And he had one earbud in. And it was going through his jacket. And he, I thought he was rapping to the song. <laughs> no, bro. And <laughs> I didn't look at the whole fit I, at first. I'm just looking at him. A jacket kind of like just off. He had like a button down, like kind of mm-hmm. open. White dude, messy hair. Um, hoodie was like slightly on his head, but he's like walking and he's like going like blah, 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 whatever he's saying. Shoebox in hand. I look at his feet. He got one sock on, oh. one shoe on. Yeah. I'm not thinking nothing of this though. Yeah. I'm still thinking he, maybe he's listening to music. Somebody took his shoes. Something crazy happened. Just, yeah. just going about I'm trying, business, like, yeah. I'm trying not to just stare at him and like look at him because yeah. we're in the shoe store. And this yeah. is when I found out they didn't have the taxes and stuff. Right. Mm-hmm. So like I go and I'm trying to buy some new shoes. And the lady was like, 99 bucks. So I was like, okay, cool. I step out and I see that guy. He's walking by. And um, the headphone... I'm looking at it. I'm thinking it's still music. 
I look down and there's a cord going straight through the jacket and it's not attached to anything. Uh, and I was like, dangling. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and then my homeboy who's fr- who like who's he's not from he's from Texas, but he's been living out there for like ten years. And mm-hmm. uh, he was like, oh no, nah, he on he on stuff. Mm-hmm. And I was like, what? I was like, "What's going on?" He's like, "Oh no, that's normal." And yeah, I was like, I didn't, I didn't, like "What the fuck?" I just didn't know. Just like that yeah, serious. Blah, 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 blah. I, was, I know that I serious. Was not ready, it's man. Intense. It's crazy. When I was in um, when I was in uh, Washington, and I landed in Seattle <clears throat> while I was driving towards like the street beef scrapyards, they had like a fentanyl protest. And when I made it to the mm-hmm. when I made it to the venue and I was talking, I was chopping it up with the fighters and everything like that. I had no clue how bad yeah. it was. Like over the, it, the West Coast, yo, they got some. Problems. It's crazy. I went it's to like the Cali, um, bro, with the homeless yeah. people, bro. I was starting to feel a little under the weather because I was, I guess I wasn't used to the altitude. My body was just tripping out uh, mm-hmm. when I was out there. I think like the third day, I started feeling kind of weird, and I was like, "Hey, I need to get some Sudafed." And I was like, "I'm gonna go get can't some Sudafed." Get <laughs> He's like, "You can't get Sudafed unless you're prescribed." Uh, I was like, "What?" Mm-hmm. He was like, they use that for the meth. Yeah, Say like, what yeah, the hell? Yeah, yeah, All yeah. that stuff, bro. Yeah. I was trying. Was like, to, it's that I was, bad. I was trying to find a parking spot because we were going back to the. We were heading back to the airport with the uh, family, mm-hmm. and all of our stuff was in the car. And when I seen downtown port, and I was like. Where can I park real quick? Yeah. And I'm, I'm thinking That's like, can yeah. I get out? I can't get out with the family. Yeah, Mm-mm. can't do that. I can't leave y'all. Yeah. And we got all our stuff in here. I was And I was just driving in a circle for like the most decent looking place. Because we was circling the Nike store for like right. five Downtown minutes. Right. Roughly. Yeah, right. so I was just looking and then my kids woke up. My, Mariah looked up and she said, dad, that dude is hitting his head on the wall. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> I said, this this place right yeah. here is very yeah. See, interesting. For, for me, I had nothing in the car. I had everything I was at the hotel. Oh, okay. So I'm like, all right, let me just park the car. But I was just going in. I was going to browse. If there was some cool stuff, then I go and I purchase some. Then I'm, I'm heading right back out. Because I knew I wasn't going to be in for like longer than 10 yeah. minutes because I'm a very fast shopper. Yeah. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm, <laughs> but you had the family with you. So like, yeah. hey, you leave that car. Yeah. yeah. Bad situation. I, was, I got the bags and everything. I'm like, no, nah, I ain't going to risk it. And I was telling each other, I was like, you think you can? She like, boy, don't leave us here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, you from the West, so you good. You know, yeah. you can hold it down. But... You leave us here, you're not coming back. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, I'm... yeah, I was like, you know what? I'm going to just roll. I said, it's not worth it. But I didn't realize how bad it was. But um, uh, the lady, we were in Eugene, Track Town. So yeah. uh, one of the people that was at a store we had went to, she had warned us. She told us like how bad it had gotten and mm-hmm. how they had started neglecting it and the laws they started passing and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And it just got terrible and nobody was doing nothing. But mm-hmm. I'm talking about when you get outside of that. Yeah. Oregon is beautiful. beautiful. Like I it can retire the there. Best. That's, that's always been like my mm-hmm. retirement. If I said I'm gonna move somewhere to retire, mm-hmm. probably would be there in Colorado. Like because oh, Colorado. I, I was only there for yet. um a day and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I went for the scene uh, is the scenes. USC, both yeah. places are just so my two spots are San Diego and uh, Oregon. Well, oh, Albany because yeah, uh, Albany, Oregon is. Mm-hmm. Is nice and it's a small town. That's where we was pretty much in. It's, okay, it's about thirty minutes out from Portland. It was a dope, sh- and it was great because I brought my camera out there. I had crazy scenes. You know, oh, that's, that's a beautiful place to shoot anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pictures, video, anything. And I'll be watching the uh, what Well Off Media with Coach. Oh Prime yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And I'll be seeing how beautiful I the one yeah, Col- Col- Colorado though for yeah. sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, go. You got it. You got to go. Like I want to go to a game probably this year again. <clears throat> Um, I just got to see what looks the most like attractive on the schedule. I'm probably mm-hmm. not going to buy enough until the season starts just to see how it's going to fare out for them. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, it's, sure. it's yeah. going to be the last year for you know um, Travis Hunter and Shador and yeah. Shiloh too. So uh, just to go and see what that's going to hit for. But, but the the aesthetic from the stadium, because you know it's The mountains are right. Yeah, you yeah, can yeah. see the mountain. Oh, yeah. it's beautiful. That's My tough. cousin it's showed me yeah, um because they went to a concert for a uh, Dreamville. Dreamville concert out in Colorado. Ah, okay. And it's in a, it was in an open like arena. Mm-hmm. And so it was like cut off in the hill, like cut off in the mountains. Mm-hmm. And so like oh, the seating is like in the mountain. mountains and it oh, goes. Like a burning man. Kind of yeah, yeah, it's yeah, really yeah, dope. Yeah, the the dope. scene he showed me, I was like, that is so live. And he was like, in the bars, it's just. It's it's hard to match it, and then you know every it's weed smoking air the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, yeah, they, yeah, they can be getting down. Over everybody there. in there high. <laughs> so yeah, no, nah, that's that's all it is, and people people just San realize, Diego like, too, Oregon too. How beautiful! Go. I want to go to San Diego as well. I, like, just, I was just there. there a couple it's a lot of it's ago. a lot of places that I want to move to, and I, I just said that like this year coming. I really want to start branching out and just work with some people. So, hey, if you a genuine person, um, <laughs> chills will really set the standard though. Oh, for you sure, because. 
I already knew the vibes would be cool, but again, you don't know a person. Mm-hmm. You know? Right. But I'm right. talking about when we first met, it's like we had already knew each other yeah. Nah, yeah. for a long time. Because right, before we shot any content, like we just, we was in that room just chopping yeah. for like an hour, two yeah. hours. Just mm-hmm. sitting here. Just talking about life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And just yeah. getting to know each other. And your cousin too. Uh, shout yeah. out to Gabos. For sure. That yeah. boy been working. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to yeah. him, yeah. man. 20K subscribers. The next time, yeah. shout out to Gabos, man. We're going to link his page as well down below. Um, I'm talking cooking, about we was here he was for. he was soaking up all again and you can just see in him that when he got to it mm-hmm. he was gonna attack he did and, exactly that and as yep. well for you um, that's awesome bro Chisel was able to show us uh, something uh, or he did the whole situation where he gifted his cousin <clears throat> What was it? Uh, ten thousand. Yeah, ten thousand. Yeah. Um, yeah. and he never spoke on it, and you know, we didn't. I didn't know how, cause I know sometimes with things, um, and this is another thing I want to touch on before we get out of here, but you know, the the behind the scenes of things that you do, mm-hmm. uh, for people, mm-hmm. um, how do you, or how would you say people should manage what's being done off camera mm-hmm. and what's being done on camera, especially all of the stuff like you said, you go to weddings and all yeah. this stuff. Because um, it it's 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 tough. It, it is tough because um it depends on for one why it is that you're doing it. Because mm-hmm. if you're doing it very genuinely, then you don't really feel the need to have to go and promote yeah, yeah, stuff like for that. Sure. Like still uh, outside of this pod, nobody knows what yeah. I did for for my cousin. Like yeah. even with my my parents, like I've I've talked about it very briefly. Talking about parent uh, paying my parents' mortgage. It's a mm-hmm. very yeah. small yeah. percentage of people who knows. So it's like a, if it's a who know if you know you know kind yeah, of situation. Yeah, yeah. But I don't put that out there because although that makes me look like a ah oh, yeah he's yeah, such a yeah, great yeah, guy yeah. and everything. Yeah. It's I feel like as a creator and then somebody who's doing stuff naturally that's what you would want exactly. to do right. so yeah. it's like okay i did it but i don't have to tell you now like yeah. it doesn't oh well i just did this yesterday i need mm-hmm. you to know today yeah. i'll tell you down the line but when i'm prepared to go and you know tell you yeah, yeah, yeah. so like I, I try to keep a lot of like the personal stuff mm-hmm. personal because when you now make it public people feel like they're now entitled to know the whole story yeah, the, like, how did oh, happen, what's going why? on and yeah, stuff yeah. like that so it, it you gotta kind of like pick and choose like yeah. even with the the weddings going to some my subscribers wedding like they if they want to put it out there great mm-hmm. but i'll just say like oh i went to another wedding i popped out yeah. i'll mm-hmm. shot this person out or whatever but i'm not putting out no additional images or nothing like that like no nah, i was there mm-hmm. if here's a photo of like I'll, it'll be on my phone and it's like an in crowd kind of thing but yeah. primarily it's just between myself and like the people who's on stream so mm-hmm. if you are a creator who wants to do stuff um for you know your people mm-hmm. i'll always employ you to go and do it but you just got to be very uh meticulous in how you go about it because yeah. mm-hmm. you can't yeah. just pull up on anybody yeah no, you don't know sure. what's going on like i, I yeah. made sure to vet the people you know who i was gonna go and pop out yeah, you know for their right. stuff because i've been again i've been invited to a lot of different things but i ain't pull up to everything <laughs> yeah so mm-hmm. there, like, what are we doing like, here actually right. what, you know is there a bell right. that happened at 12 and <laughs> rooms start opening up or yeah, yeah it's, a, it's like yeah you know i'm i'm, I'm, I'm having this this wedding right over here. it's in this uh crop circle yeah, you're just oh, driving yeah. you gotta oh, park yeah. like three miles away you're gonna see the walk. sign burning you know, in the middle yeah, park yeah. It's, a, it's a weird away. wedding like we getting married at 3 a.m in the morning yeah make sure you don't bring any electronics with you yeah we're all white yeah, right, all yeah, white, no data well, connection. Oh yeah, we got sheets and you no know, data. Yeah, yeah. Where out there with a uh, burning. Maybe want to change your skin stuff. color. It's yeah. not yeah. going to be. You ever been to a barbecue before? Yeah, we 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 got barbecues nah, all the time. Don't change your skin color. Matter of fact, keep your keep your hood off. <laughs> right, right. Okay. So yeah. you got to be you got to be there. very smart about how you <laughs> go about different sort of things and who you go and you interact with. But yeah, not bad. Yeah, but I've been I I I give a lot of credit to you know social media. I've been able to do some amazing things for a lot of my people and for me um i always said everything that i do it's never been for me i've never been yeah. like i put myself last on the list it wasn't until like now i started trying to put myself first like, even then it's still a struggle i'm like damn i'm i want to look out for everybody because yes. for yeah. me in my mind i've always envisioned being like what um vito corleone was in, in godfather like mm. i'm the i'm the guy everybody come to me yo you got something yeah, going yeah, on yeah. i could be able to provide the solution to everything but i've always wanted to be a person who can help my people so yeah my whole goal was just take care of everybody who's in my past to a certain degree so make sure my brother's all right make sure my parents is all right make sure uh, uh my friends my family everybody else is taken care of. so when my time comes to go and build and create my own fam I don't got to worry about stuff from the past because that's already been taken care of. Yeah, sure. So that cool. it, that that's always been like my whole thing. Yeah, but that that was very um, 
monumental of how you speak on certain things and mm-hmm. that's you know that's one of the reasons why I also you know I always talk talk about your character because I face with the same thing as far as like what to show and what not to but I knew it was very appreciative of us to know that we was a part of being in the the room when you did that uh, yeah. with your fam nah, and just that was awesome. knowing all the stuff you do man because a lot of time it takes somebody else you know, giving you your flowers. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, you know, I know how it is to probably try to buy your own and you know, it's a different <laughs> feeling when somebody else can do it. So definitely wanted you to, you know, acknowledge that and just show you that keep doing your thing. God gonna continue to bless you and have favor on you because just when you show it's not about me. I'm always trying to figure out how to help somebody else out. People with that mentality always get blessed because mm-hmm. they they never try to, you know, oh, I'm the one who did that. I'm the one who, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just like the old videos back in the day where people giving homeless some Homeless person of food, yep. and they got the camera and then the, the yeah. bag, yeah. everything's yeah. in frame. Yeah. And I'm just like, bro, that is just so ungenuine, fam. Mm-hmm. Like, if you no, got something, sure. give it to the man. Yeah, right. You know, you know he want to be on camera I, being shown that he ain't got nothing to eat. I knew it was right. genuine when I popped in the stream. This is after we had finally met, I think, at, when you had came down, I met you. And then I popped in the stream just trying to quietly support. <laughs> and right, I said right. one thing. He was like, Steve. Steve. <laughs> I, was yeah. like, I was like, damn, I was trying to be low key. <laughs> And yeah. he was just like, yeah, Steve, yeah, man, man this guy, man, I don't know. Man, I was like, yeah, I appreciate why. that. I wasn't expecting it. I was just yeah, trying to, just, just kind of coming through and uh, support quietly. Facts. <laughs> and this is why he is the undisputed um, in the clutch yeah, world yeah, heavyweight yeah, yeah, he champion. Is. Yes, this uh, is why, <laughs> right here, man. Yeah. Had the support. Hey, man, I had that out at WrestleMania. Yeah, man. we yeah, saw that. Looking at the orange belt, they're like, hey, man, I'm gonna challenge again. I told you, somebody got that money in the bank. Pull up. Yeah, I got boots. <laughs> yeah, they trying you. They <laughs> said, pull I up. Why, I don't know why they keep trying to man. They keep like, hey, trying, bro. He need to uh, put the belt on the line, man. Yeah. Right. I let the man have it with the belt, but you know, um, do appreciate you for joining the 100th episode. Yeah, Uh, this has been a pleasure, man. Uh, can't wait to see uh, more heights and Mm -hmm. things that you reach and success and accomplish, not only for ourselves, but you in general and other people that we, you know, influence. Yeah, you know, because some people need to hear. I like when we get into that podcast thing when we can just kind of sit down here and kick the shits because some people just need to see the human side. Mm-hmm. Man, sure. hey, show you that it is a struggle. Um, it's not easy it's not whatsoever. Easy. Um, you know, anything that's worth having isn't easily obtained. Mm-hmm. So you're going to have to put in some effort for anything that you want to do, you know, and it just takes dedication and some consistency because one of the number one questions I always get when people meet me is like, how? Wow, yep. Man. How? Yeah. It's like, bro, you just got to do it. You know, yep. no, I ain't Nike. Shoes, shoes. Yeah, do yeah, it. yeah. Do it. <laughs> do it. We ain't Nike. We ain't do getting it. endorsed. But you just got to do it, bro. Right, right, right. He, he is it. Nike. Yeah. yeah, he is. This is. Let's <laughs> not. Let's stop sponsor. playing, guys. Yeah, he actually yeah. could have gave a call for you when you were out on the pool. I took care of that. You know, it's funny. He actually, before we get out of here, he hit me up. You know, I knew they was out there in Oregon. He was like, "Man, it's beautiful." And then he was telling me. You know, kind of what was going on with you know just the city. I was like, "What?" Because I'm I'm thinking of Oregon, this beautiful place in my yeah. head. It is. And then he's telling it's, me, "Well, beautiful. just where he was at." And mm-hmm. then he was telling me, "I was like, oh yeah, that sounds kind of wild." But he was hitting me up because he's like, "Yeah, I'm about to go to the Nike store. Boom, 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 boom. About to you know, what I'm saying, see if you can hook me up. He, you know, I was like, I got you. Just let me know what you get, and you get to the register. You good? Mm-hmm. But obviously, with all the the stuff that was going on outside, I was like, "Yeah, may have yeah. to <laughs> may have to hold out on that because right. it's gonna be kind of weird. You walking out with a whole aisle of shoes and and merch. And, you it's know, like a gazelle around my yeah. neck, and I walk by a pack of right. lions. Yeah, a a pack pack of, of, you you Phil Knight's right hand man. What's, what's <laughs> going on? He, yeah, he a developer over at I, Nike. I, didn't I wouldn't, know this. I wouldn't say yeah. I'm the, uh, a developer, but I'm I'm locked in for life. Oh, well, get a plug. Is. There it is. Off oh, camera, off camera, off camera. Yeah, 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 off camera. Yeah, nobody want... needs to know that. Nobody hey, needs to know that. Hey, I said, no idea what you're talking right. about. Men in black. Mm-hmm. Hey, no, don't talk about it. We'll yeah, talk we have no clue what you're talking about. Yeah, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how stuff happens. That's how we. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll talk about it off camera, bro. Right, right, right. This is pre-Summer Slam. Yes, it um, is. SummerSlam sure. is actually about to be uh, um, beginning, yeah. live beginning in a, about an hour. Yeah, so we're about to get set up for that. So Damn, you guys Thomas are watching Lyon. this podcast. This is before we end up checking out uh, SummerSlam predictions before we get out of here. Uh, well, <sighs> before we get into it, they just released the match order. Um, mm-hmm. Damn, where is that dang image? Let me go to Instagram. Solo and... Um, Solo Cody Solo and main Cody, event. Solo Cody, main yeah. event. Cold main event. Well, it's pretty much three... 
you know, main it's events. two co it's three main events, but then back to back to back. So first one uh kicking stuff off, Damian Priest and Gunther. Yeah. Then oh I should say uh CM Punk and uh McIntyre yeah, yeah, yeah. Seth Rollins, um special guest referee, then uh that Gunther Priest that one right wild. into Cody Cody and so the, um solo. The match lineup is Liv and Rhea. They starting off the show, so that's gonna be a really good spicy. Yeah, yep. real spicy. First tease of the breakup. <laughs> uh Sami Zayn and Braun. That's gonna be a nice good one that's to follow up. Correct. Logan Paul and LA Knight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bailey and Naya. Be honest with you, I hate to say it. It's kind of the low point of right. the show. Right. Not because it's not a good, it's an okay few, but compared to everything yeah. else, a they lot just of ain't people build it. Yeah, mm -hmm. they haven't really built it. They have, but it's not say, the meeting the level. Yesterday yeah. was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, it, yeah that it, it was, was cool. all right. It was all right because we really got like two high weeks. Yeah. yeah, out of the few, I think they could have did so much better, knowing that from Queen of the Ring, which is damn near six, seven weeks Jeez, ago. Yeah. Like they could have been Done. building this forever. Yeah. So Cause cause everything else has been building. They got some right. haymakers around it, bro. Yeah, right. you got CM Punk and Drew. And, and like, that's the next right. for sure. That's yeah. the next match after yeah. that. Nia's been doing the best work of her career mm -hmm. since coming back. Nobody's injured. Yeah, nobody. Yeah, nobody. <laughs> nobody injured yet. Yeah, yeah nobody injured. Uh, nobody injured Drew McIntyre, CM Punk after yep. the Nia Bailey match. Damian Priest and Gunther. That's another good one to follow up, and obviously Cody. And solo, the and uh, obviously, hopefully, the return, the return. I mean, it's will you be mad if the rules, would you be mad if there's yeah. no return? It would be a disappointment because mm, it's one. Of, I mean, I get, I get why they <laughs> changed it up. <laughs> you stupid. I get why they changed it up. Obviously, to make the bloodline rules to make it that more interesting. Come out back and, mm. but, <laughs> hey yo, come on backwards. But I think, hey yo, you hey, kind of need. You can extend it, but I think you need that return tonight because the excitement for it right. is there. Like you heard last night on SmackDown, the crowd that's the loudest I've heard them chant, We want Roman. Before mm -hmm. Solo's in. music even finished, they you can in. hear him oh you can hear the crowd over his music. Yeah. Obviously, this is I think this just fits. Yeah. And the fact that once again on that last promo, Solo was like, Bro, Roman wouldn't Roman ain't me. He been talking his talk. Ain't he been yeah. talking his yeah. talk every him. single very. week and it's been very more direct and now is one of those things where you can extend it but the next PLE is bashing Berlin and there's no point to extend it to that yeah. all the way out there. I think this would be the perfect moment to kind of be like I'm back, motherfucker. Like, what you, what you think this and is? And the crowd goes crazy. And, they're in, and another reason, they're in an arena. Like yeah. a stadium. Like this yeah. ain't no small venue. Yeah. So if you're going to do something like this, this is SummerSlam. This is basically WrestleMania in the summer. Mm -hmm. It feels like it. Mm -hmm. We're getting bloodline rules we, again. We, we, in the, we in the vibes. We in the vibes. I you, mean, the match setup is just perfect for it's it. For, it's, it makes sense to hear him come out there. And he hadn't said nothing since WrestleMania. And the crowd's going to go nothing. crazy. Yeah. Just acknowledge him. Yeah. So, I, hey, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I think a lot of you guys, uh, whenever you see this, you know, it'll probably be after SummerSlam. But, uh, you know, we this is a, a momentous occasion. Once again, yeah. 100 episodes. For Thank sure, you man. to Chisel oh, for, for pulling sure. up. Um, appreciate everyone that's picks. a part of this. <laughs> uh, shout out to homie Trill Billy, man. I know. I was about to say, it's no greater return than Chisel and Trill Billy. Yeah, right for sure. Shout time. out to Trill Billy, man. You know, thank you to everyone that was wishing him uh, get Will's wishes, you know. Uh, he's so, yes. here with us right now, yes. man. So yeah, yeah, yeah. we we gonna be watching SummerSlam like the good old days, and uh, it, this is what it's all about, you know, just being able to, even though the crazy stuff that we deal with in the world on a day to day basis, for all of us to get together as homies, as friends from different walks of life, and have a good time, and 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 be around good people and good energy. You need that. It's a good reset, yeah. and it, it helps you keep your your mind level headed through. Everything that you're going through, hey, I got to kick it with the homies today. We had a great time, and it's beautiful to see. So I'm glad everybody's here. And, uh, yeah, if there's anything else anybody got to say, man. Hey, man, yeah. as usual, <laughs> spread love yes, as usual. Be that same love. Yes, Keep God first always. Catch y'all yes, in the next sir. podcast episode. Peace. Woo! That's a wrap. Beautiful, Jimmy. This is the ITC Podcast, man.